Welcome to this Windows channel and uh, this is a little update on the uh, situation with the Spectre and Meltdown flaws. Uh, basically, these are, of course, the problems that were found earlier this year, the beginning of the year about, you know, Intel CPUs that have a security flaw, two security flaws. One is fixed, Meltdown is kind of fixed and mitigated through a Windows update. So if you have that Windows update, you're okay if you have the latest updates. What is the most problematic is Spectre, which is a very, very difficult one to fix. It has to be done through microcode on the system. And that's the biggest problem here. So what is happening is I'm trying to, and I was, and I am working hard to try to find an easy way to explain and have these fixes for the average Joe, you know, the person that uses a computer but doesn't know that much, there is uh, a way to update your system. So, first of all, if you're one of those that has an, a computer that's less than two years old, okay, go on to the manufacturer website and check out the updates they have. Maybe you have an update manager. For example, HP often has an update manager. When you click on it, it updates the own its own drivers and its own firmware and its own BIOS or UFI firmware. And that is one way to get also the Spectre update as it's available. So you can go and check out your manufacturer's website. If it's an HP, go to hp.com and so on. Now, for those that have an older computer, that's a big problem because the older computers don't have typical updates anymore. And manufacturers are not interested in you know, creating updates for those older computers. But the thing is, <clears throat> Intel is actually working on a fix for older CPUs up to five and six years old. So that means that your older computer will has a good chance of getting the Spectre fix. But the problem is, it's not going to be pushed to you. So the, up until now, the way to get it was to identify what CPU you have, go to the Intel website. It was kind of a complex thing to find the CPU and fix for your computer. Now, things are becoming simpler. Microsoft has um, said that it will actually have the microcode updates through its Microsoft Update Catalog. Meaning, you go to the Update Catalog and download the fix. But that is not complete yet. Only sixth generation Intel chips have the updates through there. But apparently Microsoft wants to have pretty much everything available. That will be the uh, interesting part there. So basically, what that means is that, um, you know, through the weekend and next week, I'll be checking out the update catalog and how easy it is for everybody to uh, check the uh, Spectre update. And I'll issue a video explaining how to do it. And hopefully, at some point, you'll have the update for your machine available. It should make things much easier to go through the Microsoft update catalog. Now, don't click Windows Updates because that update is not pushed automatically. It will, and Microsoft did say, it stays a manual update that you get by yourself, not something that is pushed through Windows Update. So I'll be checking that out and be, uh, of course, issuing a video explaining it the best way possible and the easiest way possible so that uh, you slowly get that fix on your computer. Right now, your best bet is of course the mitigation that is your browser and some of the updates that try to kind of lower the risk of these uh, updates and these, uh, these flaws basically. So uh, keep up to date. I'll be checking that out and probably next week issuing a video um, and how to get it by yourself through the uh, Windows Update catalog. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.